What is proximate cause? If you're navigating the complexities of a personal injury claim in Colorado, you'll inevitably encounter legal terminology, among which proximate cause holds significant weight. Understanding this concept is crucial as it forms the cornerstone of establishing causation in your lawsuit. Below, we delve into what proximate cause entails, its distinction from actual cause, and why it's imperative to enlist the expertise of an experienced Denver personal injury lawyer to navigate this terrain effectively. If you sustained injuries in an accident in Colorado, contact the Denver personal injury lawyers at Front Range Injury Attorneys today to schedule your free consultation. Our experienced legal team are knowledgeable and zealous advocates for our clients and their cases. We treat our clients as people, not case files. Learn more about how we can help you pursue compensation for your injuries and damages. Contact our Denver law firm to learn more. Deciphering Proximate Cause Under Colorado Law In legal parlance, proximate cause, interchangeably termed as legal cause, refers to the primary factor leading to a specific outcome. It represents the pivotal incident setting in motion a chain of events culminating in the claimed injury or damage. In the realm of personal injury law in Colorado, proximate cause signifies the predominant catalyst behind a victim's injuries or the sought-after compensation. According to Colorado's jury instructions on proximate cause, cause denotes an action or inaction precipitating the alleged injury in a foreseeable and natural sequence. Proximate cause versus actual cause. It's imperative to distinguish between proximate cause and actual cause within a legal framework. Actual cause, also known as cause in fact, denotes the direct and immediate trigger of a given outcome. To elucidate this disparity, consider a scenario in a car accident case where a pedestrian sustains injuries after being struck by a vehicle while crossing a designated crosswalk. Here, the vehicle's impact constitutes the actual cause of the pedestrian's injuries. However, if subsequent investigation reveals that a second vehicle rear ended the first, propelling it into the crosswalk and causing the accident, the second vehicle's action emerges as the proximate cause. Navigating the burden of proof and proximate cause. In mounting a personal injury claim against an individual or entity, the onus lies on you to substantiate the requisite elements to establish the defendant's culpability. Termed as the burden of proof, this evidentiary threshold varies across distinct legal scenarios. Unlike criminal cases, which demand proof beyond a reasonable doubt, civil lawsuits such as personal injury claims adhere to a lower standard of proof, a preponderance of evidence. This necessitates showcasing that the defendant's responsibility for your injury outweighs any counter-arguments. Establishing proximate cause in a personal injury case. Central to prevailing in a personal injury claim is the ability to prove proximate cause with a minimum certainty of 51%. This entails furnishing compelling evidence delineating a cause and effect nexus between the defendant's actions and the ensuing accident or injury. Given the intricacies involved, securing the services of a proficient legal advocate becomes indispensable in marshalling evidence conducive to substantiating proximate cause. Strategies for proving proximate cause Demonstrating causation emerges as the linchpin in personal injury litigation, often necessitating the application of the substantial factor test. This evaluative criterion scrutinizes whether the defendant's actions constituted a significant contributing factor to the occurrence of the injury. Conversely, actual cause predominantly relies on the but-for test, wherein the absence of the defendant's negligence would have averted the plaintiff's injuries. Notably, establishing proximate cause doesn't mandate sole causation but rather emphasizes the defendant's substantial contribution to the accident, precluding any remote causal links. In conclusion, comprehending the intricacies of proximate cause in personal injury claims is indispensable for navigating the legal landscape effectively. By leveraging the expertise of seasoned legal professionals and marshalling compelling evidence, Claimants can bolster their prospects of securing favorable outcomes in litigation scenarios.